So, Josh, thank you very much for coming along. Thanks for um, having me. For having you being interviewed. Yes. Um, so, for those that don't know who you are, um, what do you do? You know, who, you're, who are you? Oh uh, well, uh, so. I'm Josh Collins. Uh, I feel like uh, I feel like I'm a producer first, and then I'm an engineer, mixing engineer uh, second. I, I use the mixing engineer part to help get me into, or tracking mixing engineer part to get into the music industry. But I've always been more passionate about the creative side of things not that mixing isn't creative but i i really like sound design and um like just manipulating waveforms mm -hmm. so when did you start here um and how did you get the job wow so. yeah that's actually kind of a funny story because i'm not really sure uh so i started here in like 2000 and i want to say 2010 2011 and um i moved out here to live with one of my friends uh who has a he has a big youtube channel now, uh, his name's andrew masters he does like a home studio tour stuff but i moved out here to live with him because one of his roommates was uh was like moving out and we had been friends for a really long time because of a band i was playing in short story long basically it, we went and recorded with him one time and we've always kind of kept up with audio stuff and he was just kind of like hey you should come move to LA and I was like all right I kind of hate the job I'm working at and I was going to school doing digital media and design and I was just kind of like over it doing CSS was just like breaking my brain so I was like screw it I came out here did I went to uh, audio engineering school he was working at East West at the time and uh and then they had an internship program and I remember all of the kids in my class had applied for the internship at Atlantic Records and I was just kind of like uh I'm really uh very I'm very passive so I feel like I just didn't want to compete with anybody and I didn't want to like I was like they're all doing that thing so I'm not I don't I don't want to work there because everybody's there I don't want to have to worry about it I just want to do my own thing and um and somehow ended up getting called by them anyway because they reached out to Andy somehow or like are you still looking for an internship and he's like no but my roommate's in school it's very convoluted on exactly how it <laughs> happened but I ended up here of all places and then um I've been here ever since it's been kind of crazy honestly okay cool so um how did like what got you interested in recording music and being uh starting out well I say starting out being a mix engineer maybe a, maybe a producer yeah, I say. yeah well uh it's a good question. I don't know. I you know not very many people in my family are very musical, um, but I always kind of wanted to play in a band. And when I was in middle school, I just started like making bands with my friends. Did you guys play music? Do you? I do. Yeah, do I play. play. Yeah, I played it for soon. Yeah. So, oh yeah, yeah you know, sure. like do you ever like play with like you like the neighborhood kids or like you guys like jam and stuff or like. You know? <laughs> it's a different ball game for me because yeah. it's classical music, but yeah. sure, yeah, I get the vibe. But yeah, I mean, I you played in like school, high school yeah, yeah, band yeah. or like yeah, yeah. middle school, whatever it was. And it's just something about like being able to like play, connect with people over something. Like mm -hmm. the musical music is such a universal language, so I always wanted a Absolutely. connection with people and making a band or trying to get the ideas out. And there was a point in high school where I was playing in a band and we, I was having disagreements with one of the guitar players. I was like, oh, this thing should go for five rounds rather than four. And he's like, no, I wanted to do it four. And it was fine, like, you know, whatever, we're still writing. But one of my friends was like, hey, have you ever considered making your own music? Do you want to like learn how to record yourself? And I was kind of like, I don't know. But he's like, well, I have this program called Free Loops and you can make beats and I'll give you Cubase. And I had a crack version of Free Loops and Cubase. And, <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God, I can just be the band. So I don't have to worry about, I can just do whatever I'm feeling mm. and, not, and not having to worry about other people's uh, inputs or whatever. Not that it makes me feel like selfish, but it's something about being able to have the un, unhinged or like the take the top off and let you just do your own thing and see what comes out is so i don't know it's like fascinating to me like what is sure. in here and yeah, then you yeah. get to like and you like reflect on it and look at it it's like so many songs that you've written over the, over the periods of time and you go back and it's like it's kind of like my tattoos i feel like it's not what i'm getting it's the it's the memory that i associate with it yeah, yeah. so it's like you listen to songs you're like oh my god that's what i was going through it's like cheaper version of therapy you know? <laughs> for yourself yeah, yeah absolutely no i get it absolutely we've kind of heard how the other guys operate and they work um but what does an average day look like for you do you have an average day or is every day that that you know different um i think yeah um it's funny because if you're talking to someone who's in the industry then every day is going to be very different mm -hmm. but if you're talking to if i'm talking to my parents or something it's like every day is the same like the microcosm of stuff that you do is gonna it's gonna look the same if you're not 
don't know what it is, but I feel like a, a, most of my day is spent like this, going. <laughs> uh, trying to like find the energy to do something or find the like you're it's like i feel like i'm always like trying to connect to bluetooth mm -hmm. you know like i'm just like okay there i know there's a million things i need to be working on right now um which thing which thing will this roulette wheel hit and it's like i feel like a lot of times i'm just kind of spending my day trying to get into the right head space to get into my session get into the groove of working with things so um usually you just wake up have coffee sit around and try to think of what I'm doing today. If I'm going to the studio, that's a pretty good jump start into getting into stuff. If I'm sitting around at home, then it's a lot more sitting around and trying to find the energy to mm -hmm. do stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. And then uh, <laughs> yeah, I usually get to the studio, plug stuff in, check things out. Um, if I'm at home, I'll just go through files, surf through stuff, listen to different songs that I, you know, stuff that's current that I think is cool or stuff that people have sent me. Uh, and just kind of bouncing around until you're like, I know what it is, you know? It's like, there's never really like any hard and fast thing that you can do to, to like get that connection. But when you get it, it's like undeniable. It's like, you're just like, oh, I know what it is. It's like, you can all of a sudden, it's like the map loaded, you know? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, that's a very interesting. It's good. it's good to know about, you know, mental space and how people process because obviously every engineer has a different starting point. So, um, last couple of questions then. Yeah. Um, what are your day-to-day -day tools for the job? Well, do you have day-to-day -day tools, or is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, honestly, the Mojo has become one of them for real. Um, that one has been like uh, honestly a huge time saver for me. It's like I feel like it's gotten me excited to listen to my mixes in the car again. Because like I don't. You guys said on your website about like the unveiling of frequencies, where it's like you really hear like the separation between stuff. So it's like, it's really cool to be able to like plug, like go off of my arrow or my universal audio or, or from the red even and going in. And then it's like, you hear, it's like almost like it's like everything like expands like a slinky. It just like opens up and you can hear everything. <laughs> so that's been a huge, huge tool for me. Um, going from my, my crushed Apollo. <laughs> so that's been a good one. Um, it's very kind of you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's awesome, man. I always like say, I'm like, I got this thing. It's like from small soldiers, kind of. It's got like a, a missile chip in it and it could take over the world. <laughs> it's going to like become sentient. And be like your mix sucks. <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> Maybe we'll put that feature in the next yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. uh, so yeah, I mean that that's a good tool. Uh, I mean, I use my laptop speak laptop speakers all the time too as a ref point of reference. I mean, my my laptop laptops are like a barrier of entry if you're going to be making music unless you have a computer you can use. So, mm -hmm. the laptop I guess would be something that I use every day. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't really have like gear gear that I use at home or anything. Particular, oh, nice. but so is it mainly in the box kind of? Yeah, mostly stuff in the box. Yeah, I got my Arrow, my little laptop, and this the the, the Mojo Two, and that's honestly has been that's been like honestly great for me. I was talking to CD about that, and he's like, everything is going to be the portable rig is the future, and that's like such a such a awesome idea. That's why I'm excited. Like Can Jam is like the headphones, or maybe someone will have like it's like what computer accessory might I find there that'll be like some cool thing to like package everything onto my laptop so I can like stand up and walk around to a room and still be working on it. You know, sure. like I wish that, um, Avid would <sighs> like, just, just, uh, let me, um, license to license to my computer <laughs> so I could not be on the internet. It's like, it's so annoying. You, mean you don't want to walk around with an iLock? No, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I have the like iLock cloud, but every time the internet disconnects, yeah. it's like save or quit. And yeah. I'm like, ah, <laughs> dude. Yeah, no, that feeling. Really. It's so annoying, man. Um, yeah. Cool. Well, I mean, that, you've exhausted me of my questions. Um, I which I've been tired you out too much. No, 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 not at all, not at all. No, okay. all we're all good, we're all good. So, well, thank you very much, Josh. Yeah. That's um, a, a fascinating insight into your uh, into your life, and, and uh, it's been really cool. Thank Thanks, you very man. much. Of course. Cheers. Sweet.